big welcome to everyone and I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Today's layout is going to be a double page layout and it's all about an event that I took my kids to. It was the Uruguayan Independence Day which is celebrated around about August. And I decided to take the kids so that they would get to know something about their culture, the music, the food, the dancing. You know, there's so much to South American culture and I wanted to expose the kids to them so that, you know, they know that, yes, we live in Australia, yes, we are Australians, but they've got something else to their background. So because these photos were so colourful with all the blues and the reds and the yellows and every other colour, I decided to first give them a small mat with some black cardstock and then I go ahead and this pattern paper, I give it a second matting just to bring your eye to the photos. Off camera, I printed the lyrics to Me Pedra, a Gloria Estefan song, which is all about your homeland and where your roots lie. And then on the right hand side, I did my very best to interpret the lyrics into English. Uh, I did lose a bit of the meaning in uh, behind it, but I did as best as I could and then I went and I just marked where my photos were going to be and the lyrics were going to be because I wanted to do a bit of mixed media but I really didn't want to do a lot where it was going to be covered up anyway. So I found this lovely, lovely stencil from Stencil Girl and I just loved all the, the stars and then it has the specks of, I don't know what they are, it's a very distressed, distressed stencil, sorry I cannot talk today. All I did was I got my crusty little embossing paste. Is that called embossing paste? Oh my gosh. All my words have left my brain. Anyway, so I'm just doing some stenciling here with the, with the paste. And once that was done, on my silhouette machine, I got this lovely little cut file and it's off a film strip. So I just cut some of those out and I will use them later on on the smaller photos. I will admit that I did cut these little strips a little bit incorrectly. They weren't the right size and the thought of going back and redoing them just wasn't on my my high on my priority list. So what I did was I just used my ATG gun to stick the photo down onto some blue cardstock and then I put the little film strip over it and I quite like that. I well, not the idea. I quite like the fact that there's a little bit of blue all around it because it brings out the blue in the Uruguayan flag. Then I got out my new toy. Yes, Santa present. And these are the Vicky Booten uh, watercolour paints. And I decided to have a play because, of course, we all play with our new toys, don't we? So I'm getting the blue and I added a little bit too much water there, but because they're so highly pigmented, I will know for future to use less of it. But anyway, I'm adding the extra water by, by mistake. Just diluted the colour a bit more. And I just randomly randomly just um, put some of that blue paint everywhere. I didn't really think about it. I just splashed it everywhere. Then with a the baby wipe, I just go over some of the stars So because I didn't want them blue. I wanted them more white. And I just bring out some more of those stars by using the wet baby wipe. Then I wanted to add a bit more yellow because of the, I was trying to bring out the colours of the flag and do exactly the same thing with the, with the yellow, with the yellow watercolour pack. Decide that I wanted the yellow to run into the blue. Now I must add that off camera I did dry the blue cut watercolour with the heat gun so that the orange and the blue wouldn't make some other greeny colour or whatever it is colour they do make and then what I will do is I'm going to get my spritz bottle and I'm just going to spray some of that yellow yellow water I just so that it runs down and I just tilt my page left right all over the place just so that the colour runs into the blue and it does add a, add a hint of green but because the blue has been dried it's not as bad and I really like the effect that this has I'm just running a bit more yellow so that it it runs into the blue a bit more and really this is just a personal touch I just kept doing it, doing it over and over again until I was quite happy with the outcome 
and then I do it to the second page as well and I, I don't actually show me doing the second page because you get the drift. I then had these lovely stamps, they're actually Christmas stamps from one of the magazines here from just recently and it had this little drum and I thought oh yeah well we use the drums you know we call them the congas and all that but that'll do. So I went ahead with my Jim Holt stamping tool and I just stamped six of them I believe and then I'm just going to use my Vicky Bruton watercolours to once again colour these in. So this is just me playing with my new toy like I said earlier and I am not very good at colouring in with watercolours but I just thought you know what practice makes perfect so I just used the, the red and the yellows and then I just coloured in those lovely little crumbs which you'll see me add on and because there is so much mixed media on this and it's bumpy because of the stencil and all that the HEG gun was not going to stick down my photo so I used some HEG gun and then I also sticked, used some wet glue as well just so that it's down and I'm just adding a little puffy sticker to to those little boys playing their congas. I forget what that says. Uh, let's try to get the bloody up here. What's it say? What's it say? It says snapshot of a great day. And yes, it was a great day. So I thought that was appropriate to put there. So then I fussy cut my little crumbs and I put them all over the place. And now I'm just going to be working on the title. So the title after much indecision is going to be never forget your heritage. And this is something very important to me. I really don't want my kids to deny their heritage or forget where their grandparents come from. So I'm hoping that, you know, over time they will appreciate that there's more to them than just being Australian. Yes, we love this country. Yes, this will forever be our home. It's definitely where my heart lies, but I I don't want to forget where I'm from and I don't want my kids to forget where they're from. And once again, I'm using some of those little, little stamps from that little Christmas package from the magazine. And they're just little music notes. And I decided I was going to put them all over the, the lyric to the song Mi Terra from Gloria Estefan. And I do it on, on both sides, the Spanish side and the uh, English translation. We're almost at the end of this layout. I hope you are all enjoying your Christmas and you all had a great time. I want to thank you all for watching, if you're still with me that is. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel. I am going to do a small giveaway as soon as I reach 500 subscribers. And yes, I appreciate all your comments. I do try to get back to everybody and thank you so much for watching. Till next time, enjoy. Bye, everyone.